After a year spent in Frankfurt, Heidi began to suffer from melancholia, becoming very depressed when she realized Detta never sent the letters she wrote to grandfather. And it fell to Clara to decide to let Heidi go back to the mountains. No one should be forced to live away from their home, from their heart. Happy to go home, Heidi wrote a letter to grandfather telling him she was coming back. But little did she know that her letter would not reach him. To start a new life, Chippy. There won't be anyone around now. Right on time, Peter. Good morning, Uncle. You're going to the village? No, I'm going back to Italy. Huh? What? When are you coming back? Mm, I won't. But what about Heidi? You know she won't come back. She must be happy in the city. That's the right place for her. Yes, you're probably right. Take good care of little bear and little swan. They're rightfully yours now. But... Goodbye, Peter. Make sure you give your mother and grandmother my goodbyes, will you? Goodbye, Uncle. For Mayenfeld, Spiegelheim, and Gerfley. All aboard! <coughs> Hurry, Sebastian! Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, oh. Miss Heidi, next time we need to wake up earlier. You don't have to call me Miss now. We're going to the mountains. I'm just Heidi there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 with the customers, Teresa. We should be back by this evening's train. Mm. But couldn't we just close the store for the day? No. It's the telegraph line grand opening today, Mother. The whole village will be at the community center. Someone needs to mind the store, Teresa. You'll have your own bathroom and your bedroom once we move into the manor, Teresa. It's worth a day at the store. <laughs> Come on, Johan. It's time. Yes, 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 sure. I'm coming, honey. And if there are no customers, make sure you clean the shelves and sweep the storeroom. Hmm. Oh. Here come the vultures, ready to take my manor. Good morning, Uncle. Good morning, your aunt. Do you have all the papers for the solicitor? Yes, Alda. All right, so let's go. Hmm. Come on, Joseph. Hmm. <whistles> to Spiegelheim, Mayenfeld and Frankfurt. All aboard! All aboard! Hmm. Alda. Be nice to the uncle. You know it's tough for him. I am nice, Johan. He wants to sell his manor. We're buying it. There's no crime in that. Why don't you accept this for what it is?
Should I call you Uncle Sebastian now? <coughs> um, why? <laughs> well, you're going to marry Aunt Detta. Huh? Well, why not? Uh, but we haven't had the wedding yet. <laughs> That's right. And you know what? You should get married in Durfley. In Durfley? Well, we need to talk to Detta first. I think Aunt Detta would like that. And Grandfather too. You know, he's a bit grumpy sometimes. But he's a good man. I'm, I'm sure. And everyone knows Aunt Detta and Durfley. They would all come to the wedding. <gasps> yes, we'll invite everyone. All right. Um, why don't you practice your reading so you can show your grandfather how good you are? <laughs> sure. All right. Spiegelheim. Spiegelheim is our next stop. <gasps> Spiegelheim. <laughs> I know everyone will like you in Durfley, and while I'm sure you're going to enjoy the village and the valley, it's so cute. <laughs> Too much sun. It hurt my eyes. Are you coming? Uh, they're all at the community centre now. I have to mind the store. My parents went to Mayenfeld to buy the uncle's manor. <laughs> Brilliant! Wow. I guess. But I'm going to miss the telegraph today. All right. Uh, uh, we'll see you later then. Uh, yes, my, my uncle from Mayenfeld said it is too big and it will change our lives. I'm sure it'll be very interesting. Do you really think this will change our lives, Brigitte? The telegraph? Oh, yes, Mother. It will help us communicate from one village to the other. Oh, we already have letters for that. I'm not sure a machine will do better than the postman. My fellow villagers, what I will present to you today is the first step of a revolution that will change our lives forever. Let me present to you the telegraph. <laughs> Well, uh, a box with something in it, and uh, there's a board with keys. <laughs> My fellow villagers, this machine will allow us to send telegrams instantly to faraway cities like Spiegelheim, Mayenfeld, or even Frankfurt. <gasps> As you will see, the signal will follow those wires and connect to the wires alongside the train tracks will conduct your message to the destination of choice. <laughs> Come on, Sebastian. We have to hurry to Grandfather's cabin. He's going to be so surprised. So, where is it? It's up there, beyond the village. No wonder Detta is not afraid to climb up and down the stairs if she used to climb this every day. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, sir. Could you please tell me where we could find Mr. Bieland Sieg's office? Mm. Mm. Mr. Bieland Sieg? Mm? The solicitor here in Meinfeld? Oh, yes, of course. Take the second street on your left, and then it's straight up, right before the town hall. Mm. Mm. Um, thank you so much, and have a good day. Sebastian, this is Grandfather's cabin. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Chippy, 
you're here. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe he really needed to go this time. We rushed through the village, and you ran too fast to see him. Come on, let's go. You think? I am sure. Well, quick, let's have a look. <laughs> what is he doing? We don't have all day. It's all right, Alda. We still have time before our train. Well, Alda is right. There's no reason to keep us waiting like this. And that was the signature. First message from Mayenfeld received. <gasps> so what does it say? Well, for the moment it's only in Morse code. I need to translate it now. I thought this was meant to be a fast delivery. The train arrived an hour ago. They could have sent a letter. Please have a seat. in Mayenfeld. So he'll be back later. No, he's not coming back. I have to tell him I'm back. I'm sure he'd stay if he knew I was back. He loves the cabin. He can't leave. <laughs> it's too late, Heidi. He's gone. You should go back to the city. No, I won't. And where is Grandmother and Peter and everyone? They're all at the community center. And good luck to Durfley's new telegraph. Signed, Mayenfeld Telegraph Office. Heidi. Heidi. <laughs> Grandmother. <laughs> Grandfather's gone. <laughs> we need to tell him to come back. Heidi, <laughs> you're back. Oh, <laughs> my little one. <laughs> <laughs> We need to tell him he's in Mayenfeld. Maybe he can still come back. Heidi, <laughs> there's nothing we can do. Well, actually, there is. I think this is the perfect occasion to send our first message through the telegraph. You can warn Grandfather. So, the H is four shorts. The E, just one short. The I, two shorts. Why does it take so long, Mr. Traver? Grandfather will be gone. I'm sorry, Heidi. I need to be careful not to make mistakes for them to read it properly in Mayenfeld. The D is... Oh, one long and two shorts. Property built in 1815 on an acreage of 20,500 square feet. Is that correct? Correct. 
you agreed to sell the property to Mr. and Mrs. Keller, grocers in Durfley. <clears throat> the message is gone. Did Grandfather get it? Is he coming back? Well, Heidi, it's not that simple. Now the message is in my info, at the telegraph office. Someone needs to take it to the solicitor's office. And if your grandfather is still there... So he there, might not get the message? There is no way to know right now. We can only hope that your grandfather will still be at the solicitor's for a bit longer. But, sir, when will we know for sure? When the afternoon train arrives in Durfley, I guess. We'll see if the uncle gets off. Hi, everyone. Huh? So this telegraph oh. thing's working? Peter! Heidi? Peter! Heidi! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm back with Sebastian, but now Grandfather is gone and might not return. I know. He said he'd go back to Italy. Huh? To Italy? <laughs> Come on, Heidi. We sent him a message. I'm sure he'll get it. Just like that. Can't believe it. I told you we couldn't trust him. When did you come back? This morning with mm. Sebastian. Hmm. Are you staying? Mm, forever. Mm. Uncle, for little bear and little swan, it's best you take them back. I can't have too many goats on my own, you see. Thank you, Goat General. Now, how about we go back to the cabin? Yes, and I have gifts for all of you. This is a lovely place you have here. <laughs> I finished unpacking, Grandfather. So 
your grandfather? Are you and Sebastian friends already? Because he's going to marry Aunt Detta, you know. Really? Uh, yes, well, we need to... You brought me Heidi back. You must be a decent man. This is the best gift I've ever received. What? The harmonica? <laughs> to have you back. 